Hey class, today we are going to um, we are going to set up your listening station. So the first thing that you need to do is you need to go to Google and you need to get yourself an account. If you don't have an account, it's really easy. Um, you can just kind of go to sign in and if you do not have an account, you create an account right now. So this is signing in to the account that we will be using, we will, we will be setting up a listening station for. This is one of my clients, so um, here we go. Okay, now that we have signed in, the first thing that you need to do is you need to go to Google Reader. See this? Reader. So um, we're setting up our Google Reader account. Um, the way that the way that you need to do this is um, Google Reader is a it's an RSS feed reader that allows you to um, to view the different sorts of RSS feeds of uh, coming from anywhere. And RSS can be a search term, it could be a specific blog, it could be a um, a, a specific page on a specific blog, that sort of thing. And um, yeah, so this is this is what we use in order to set up your listening station. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click Add a subscription. Um, actually, no, I'm sorry. Let's see. Okay, so now the first thing that I'm going to do once we have our Google Reader set up is I'm going to go up here and open a new tab and I'm going to go back into Google and I'm going to go into Google Alerts which is not here so I'm going to click on even more and now I'm going into Google Alerts okay so here we are in Google Alerts. This is this is where where we enter search terms that will be relevant to this listening station. So first and foremost, the name of the company is Hail Mary. And let's see. Yes, I'm going to go ahead and pick everything. And up to 20 results, I would say so. Deliver to. Um, now, when, when you're right here, you click Deliver to Feed, okay? Now you click Create an Alert. And as you can see, I've had, I have a few stuff in here already, but as you can see right here, Hail Mary, the search terms, is happening is I'm getting everything as it happens in the feed in Google Reader okay so now um, let's see let's go to new alert again um, the name of the the name of the founder is Susan O'Brien so I'm going to set up Susan O'Brien as another feed and stick that right there create the alert and let's go ahead and make the founder is um, Sarah Chapin so, or, I'm sorry not the founder the CEO of the company is Sarah Chapin so I'm gonna go ahead and make her an alert as well okay and um, Let's see. I'm going to go ahead and set up an alert for just in case. Um, I'm going to set up an alert for the website. Um, this is kind of a just in case. It's not that big a deal, but every now and then, you know, you never know. So, and. Also, I think that's good. Okay, so we are good here. Now we have our. Let's 
so I can show you a little bit better. Okay, so as you can see right here, we have our four um, Google Alerts that we are searching for within, within the Google Reader. Okay, so now I'm going to click back here on Google Reader and click on All Items. Okay, so now on All Items, now this is all going to be set up. So anytime, anytime something comes in here, anytime something happens online where Hail Mary, um, where Hail Mary .com is mentioned, or Sarah Chapin is mentioned, or Susan O'Brien, or Hail Mary is mentioned, it will come into this place right here, and um, you will sort of see this, see the stream. Now let me show you what this actually looks like once you once you get um, now let me show you what this actually looks like once you have a Google Reader set up. I'm gonna go into uh, let's go into this. Let me go into my personal and show you what a Google Reader looks like once it's actually set up once you've got everything in there. Okay, so here's an example of what the alerts are going to look like. I have um, I have the following searches on my Google Reader. So uh, the Temperamentals was a client of mine, and um, this is this is everything that's happened. This is everything that's shown up as far as the uh, the Temperamentals goes. Uh, then uh, more cowbell is a blog that I follow. Uh, social networking demographics. I was doing some searching for that. I needed to kind of have some demographics at my disposal. Um, this is a blog that I am following, and uh, et cetera, et cetera. So this is what they're actually going to look like. Once you have something, you can you can click on you can click on the actual um, Google alert, and then it will take you into the specific site, and then. Um, say you want to read about another American classic, blah, blah, blah. Um, or let's say Ugly Betty star Michael Urey to make London stage debut. And so you click on this and you will get to the, let's see, I did the wrong thing, sorry. If you click on this, it will take you directly to the piece and there you have it. And now you know everything happening on um, everything happening about your client because it's popping up this is a really bad example <laughs> sorry guys oh here we go yeah so uh, yay look here beautiful perfect and all of a sudden there you go and now you have been alerted that somebody is mentioning you online okay so let's go back let's go back to our setup here we are back in our Google Reader um, the next thing that we are going to do is we are going to run a Twitter search to do the same thing as we were doing with the alerts okay so we are going to go to search dot twitter dot com okay now I'm gonna go ahead and type in Hail Mary again and here we go okay so for instance, the beautiful thing about this is that um, often when you're on Twitter and people don't know if your client is on Twitter, they mention them, but they might not do an at reply, so you would never know unless you had this feed running. Like for instance, this right here, Freebie Queen, um, I had no idea that this happened a day ago until until looking at this right now because um, she didn't she didn't do an at reply. I'll explain all of this when we actually get into Twitter. But I have I had no way to know this except for the fact that she is now that I've now um, I'm about to set up an alert for her. So here's here is your search. Now you go to click this button right here called Feed for this query. Okay. Now what you do you subscribe to this feed using 
Google. And you hit subscribe now. Now, you are back into the reader. And it says you're not quite done. It says you are not subscribed to this feed yet. You have to actually hit subscribe. So let's go ahead and hit subscribe. And now, this is one of the things that you can see right here. This is your Twitter feed. Every time somebody says the words Hail Mary on... Every time the... Sorry. Every time somebody says the words Hail Mary on Twitter, you will be able to see it. It will be popping into here, right here. So, now you've got the Twitter feed set up. Let's see. I'm going to go back, and I think I'm going to set one more up. I'll set up Susan. Just in case, it's probably not going to be, you know, she doesn't get a lot of traffic on her name yet, so, um, but that's fine. We'll set it up anyway. Subscribe. Okay, go back. And I will also set up Sarah. And I will again go ahead and do the website. Okay. Now that we have that, we are going to go to a um, we are going to do a Facebook search. Now here's the deal. Um, Facebook does not allow you to do RSS feeds coming out so we are going to go to a website called social mention okay so here we go Social, social mention will let you um, select Facebook and then um, you can click on the select social media sources option underneath the search box and then you can do an RSS feed from that. So, um, okay, so let's go. So this has taken a while. Okay.
So we are going to go to a website called Social Mention. It is socialmention.com. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to set up a search for mainly Facebook. We'll see if there's anything else in there that we want to do. So you go here and you click on select social media sources. You have to do it this way because social, I'm, I'm sorry, because Facebook doesn't allow you a direct RSS feed or a search. So um, we have to use something like this. So here we go. Uh, social mention is a great site. There's a lot of, there's a lot of other, um, there's a lot of other, um, social media sources out here that you can that you can use um, if you want to add them into this search as well so we are going to go to Facebook right here and let's see yeah okay and now we've got Facebook clicked let's go ahead and type in Hail Mary and search Facebook for Hail Mary Okay, so here we go. This is what's going on on Facebook that is um, mentioning the words Hail Mary, okay? So, you can see, you know, there's a lot of, and you know, here we go. Um, so, Let's go ahead and take this feed and again, click on RSS feed. Subscribe to this feed using Google, subscribe now. Go ahead and subscribe. And there you have it. Now you have your, now you have Facebook coming into here. You've got, so basically we have covered um, the internet with Google. Um, Twitter with the Twitter search, Facebook with social mention. Um, let's see if there's, um, let's see if we can do anything about, about, um, about forums. Okay. Forums are, they're becoming, uh, they're still, they're still more popular than you would think. So, um, we are going to go to a website called board reader. There we go. And we are going to do um, we are going to do a, another search for Hail Mary. Here we go. It's funny with this client, I get a lot of football stuff, so it, it happens. But you know, it's it's okay. It's whatever. So let's see. Yeah. Yeah, not getting not getting a whole ton of traffic, but regardless, it's still it's still useful. So um, on here, we are going to go to let's see, subscribe again under show tools. Go to subscribe. I'm sorry, not subscribe. Click on RSS. And again, subscribe to this feed using Google. Subscribe now. Hit subscribe. And there you have it. Hail Mary forums. There you go. All right, let's see. Is there anything else? Um, let's see. Um, for, there, there's a lot of, um, there's, there's, let me see. Let's go into Google blog search. Maybe we can, let's also, let's also search news and let's also search blogs. So um, go into Google blog search. Blogs are right here. We're going to set up a blog search. Okay. So now 
you have you have all of this that's happening right here and um, we are going to scroll down and do a subscribe to a blog search feed for Hail Mary, Hail Mary in Google Reader. So this is what we're going to do. So there we go. Now we have Google blog search. Um, let me go ahead and show you one other thing called Ice Rocket since we're in here and I'll go ahead and set up a feed from Ice Rocket. Let's see. Let's search Hail Mary again. Okay. Sometimes different different search engines use different tools and therefore they get different results. So, um Yeah, here again. So, you know, this this right here for instance, I hadn't seen this until just now. So, which is which is incredibly important when people are talking about you online, you've got to be aware of it. That's why we're setting this whole thing up. So, we have this um let's find the RSS button. Subscribe right here. Subscribe using Google, subscribe now. and subscribe okay all right now let's go ahead and go into YouTube good old YouTube now we are here in YouTube and we are going to search Hail Mary okay Okay, now here's here's another little trick. Here's another little trick that you should know about um, ways that you can find um, ways that you can grab RSS feeds. You have this button right up here, okay? And if you subscribe to this page, every time there is something new on this page, you will automatically get um, you will automatically get it in your feed. So we're going to subscribe to YouTube videos matching matching query Hail Mary. That's what we're doing. So subscribe using Google, subscribe now, subscribe, and there we go. We have it set up. Um, the last thing that the last thing that we're going to do is we're going to set up a feed from Flickr. Now Flickr doesn't, as of right now, does not let you do a um, does not let you do a feed, an RSS feed out of it. So we're gonna go back into social mention. And we are going to click Flickr. And actually, I'm gonna go ahead and click Fotkey as well. This is another, this is another um, picture site. So let me, let's go ahead and grab all of their picture sites. Let's do Photo Bucket, photo bucket and Picasa. And I'll go ahead and grab Tweet Photo and TwitPig as well. Why not? Okay, so this is this is what we've got. It's sort of the picture, the Hail Mary picture um, search. And here we go. All right, and again, RSS feed. Subscribe now. Subscribe. And there we go. That is
Okay, so the last thing, the last thing that I want to show you that, that we're going to set up right here is let's see. Let's go to manage subscriptions. Okay, we are going to start a, just so that it, this is a little bit easier for us to read. We're going to start a Hail Mary folder. And now I'm going to add all of this to the Hail Mary folder. Now we go back to Google Reader. And now that's a lot easier to use. So let's see, let's click on Home. And we click on Hail Mary. And now everything in here is now under the one folder. So there you have it. Pretty, uh, pretty cool. That is how you set up a Google Reader. So what, uh, what I need you guys to do is um, go ahead and set this whole thing up. When it's time to, um, when it's time to take the screenshot, this this is the most important thing that I want. Actually, you know what? This is the screenshot that I want from you, right here. So um, when it's time to take your screenshot and turn this in, I want to see this right here so that I can see that you've, you've gone through all of the social mention stuff, um, the forum stuff, the Google alert stuff, and the Twitter search so that I can see that you've set everything up. Obviously, it won't all fit on one page, but just kind of get, a, get as much as you can. And um, there you go. Odds are also you don't necessarily have to search for a CEO or a founder or that sort of thing. I just like to do it, so that's that's why I did. Um, yeah, so that's, that's setting up your listening station. Hopefully this was quick and easy, and I will talk to you guys soon.